Hello, this is Colin Levy. How are you? Uh, I thought it'd be interesting to do a, a series of really short, less than one minute videos to show you uh, tips and tricks that I learned in Blender during my time on Cintel. Uh, I thought I knew Blender, but uh, apparently there's a lot of people who know a lot of things that I didn't know. Um, everything in this little series is going to be uh, simple, really simple. So. To jump right in, first thing I want to show you is in Blender 2.5, let's say I have the scene open and I want to uh, make sure anti-aliasing is on. Well, I'm going to have to scroll down all the way to anti-aliasing. Wow, that took about a second. But look how much faster it would be if I could really quickly close and open these uh, little sections in the render panel. You can do that by hitting A. That just toggles them on and off. Really simple. Number two, math. Uh, apparently, and maybe this is really obvious to anyone who's used this program, but you can do math in any field uh, where there are numbers in Blender. So you've got 100 here. You can just type divide by 2, and it goes to 50. Wow, that is cool. Now. This is useful in a lot of situations because you're dealing with uh, uh, technical things that have absolute values. So right here we've got this set up to be, you know, to render in 2K. What if you wanted to do it uh, in 4K? Well, normally I would come up with, I would launch a calculator and uh, and do the the math here if I wanted to be precise. But you can actually just type in times two on both of these values, and there you go. Beautiful. That applies basically everywhere in, uh, in Blender. Number three, local view. Also a feature from years ago that I did not know about. So basically, when you're dealing with scenes of any complexity, you are working in a space with a lot of other things. Hitting period to center my selection, and it can sometimes be a drag if uh, there's things that are including your view and you only want a selection of objects. Let's just say that I wanted to look at all the lights just by themselves. Um, it's pretty easy, first of all, to select all of the same type with Shift G, type, and then go into local view by hitting the slash button. Bam. And now all we see are lights, everything that was selected. And at any point, you can just start working with these things by themselves. You can toggle in and out with slash, and you can move things away from local view by hitting M. Pretty cool. That concludes the first installment of Blender Tips with Colin Levy.